Let us look now at the sample space of flipping a penny five times. Some of you guys found out that there were 32 possible outcomes. Let's get this thing started. Here we go. So we do need, since it's a sample space, we need some fancy brackets. If you don't show the fancy brackets on the test, minus some points. All right, here's why there are 32 outcomes. So we got flip number one, then two, then three, then four, and five. We, won't, we probably won't get that far, but... On at these, for the first flip, you can either get heads or tails. For the second flip from heads, you get heads or tails. From each of these, you get two more. And from each of those, you get two more. And from each of those, you get two more. And that gives you clearly 32. So there's two options here, two options there, two options there, and two options here. Which when we multiply all of these, we get 32 possible outcomes. For this one is not looking for the number of outcomes. We're looking for the actual outcomes. Which is why we're going to list all 32 of them right now. So to start off, if I had used that uh, tree diagram and did it nice and pretty like you guys should have done, I could get heads, 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 heads. Bam, that's one of them. Or I could get heads, 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 tails. Or I can get heads, 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 tails, heads. Or I can get heads, 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 tails, tails. Bam! I did it! The great thing about this is when you guys watch the video, it will happen in like a second. Alright. Now, some of you guys quit on this, and that's okay. Just, if you do it on the test, it's, it probably won't be okay anymore. But, unless you're okay with, you know, back grade. Since this one was so long, it would be worth a lot more than the other average ones. Just remember, it should be good if you guys drew a trade diagram. You should be able to get all these. 